So while discussing for tonight's event at our, at our CR Pride group, we wanted to share some of the experiences, the frustrations, and the dreams, realities, and the expressions regarding homophobia that we've been through or that we've witnessed. And so I'd like to call up to our stage right now our first three, three presenters from CR Pride, Jerry Ann, Kelvin, and Arian. many different voices of CR Pride. I am the one who stands behind you in the grocery store lineup. The one who works beside you as we strive to feed, shelter, and clothe the ones we love. Who sits beside you in church because I am a spiritual being. The one who belongs to a service club as a means of serving my community who volunteers to help at the soup kitchen. I am the one who votes in elections in order to hopefully make our world a better place. The one who endeavors to be a good friend and love my friends unconditionally. <laughs> Thanks. I spend time with my family I am one who cries, laughs, loves, and can run the gamut of all human emotions. I love the company of my pet. I like to take holidays in warm places and cold weather. I am one who hopes to make a positive difference in the world in which I live, who hopes to be accepted for the whole person I am. You know me. I worry about the same things as all the people around me, finances, retirement, education, illness, family, the state of the economy, the country, my community. I talk about politics, religion, hobbies, and all kinds of other things of interest. Am I gay, lesbian, transgendered? Whether or not I am, it shouldn't make a difference. Hello, I'm Calvin Rufus. I'm from the Numgis village of the Kwakwakwakw First Nations, Alert Bay. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Am I gay, lesbian, or transsexual? Whether I am or not shouldn't matter. But it does matter as long as there is homophobia. Because, because I am afraid that if I tell you I was gay, lesbian, or transsexual, homophobia will make you reduce me to the small part that is my sexuality or gender identity only. Homophobia can make you forget all other things that make up me. So why is this walk from homophobia necessary? I don't know. Maybe you should ask my relatives who wouldn't come out and walk with us today. We're all human. I want my children to know I support their right to be who they are. People are afraid of what they don't understand. We have more in common with one another than differences. I want my children to be aware of the diversity that exists in humankind. I want them to learn from a young age about the importance of the acceptance of the rights of others. In the past, I was bashed twice in Vancouver, and this happened to me. I was randomly picked from the crowd and physically, verbally, and psychologically assaulted. I have felt the violent brunt of homophobia firsthand. Thank you. Walking away from homophobia 
is a way to publicly demonstrate my intention to show respect for everybody. Walking away from homophobia means walking towards self-acceptance and hopefully the acceptance of those who've judged me narrowly and negatively in the past. The ignorance that people have expressed towards me over the years used to hurt me and make me angry. Some people saw me as a sexual being only. I feel now that the best way I can try to do something about that is to change the view that some people have towards gay people by showing them who I am in all the diversity of my humanness. I am more than just my sexuality. That's just one aspect of me. I walk to show people I'm more than just that. In my younger day, I was mercilessly bullied at school. I felt vulnerable and unprotected. Once when I was working at a local hotel, I was verbally berated by a guest. The scars from these attacks on my right to exist have stayed with me. Walking away from homophobia is my way of letting go of the pain of those cruel attacks and perhaps helping to make the world better for others in the present and future. Thank you. Thank you.